Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, I am going to talk to you about items that sell for thousands in the vintage Halloween category. Wait until you see these items. I mean, we are talking thousands of dollars. Every item in this video sold for at least $1,000. <laughs> Okay, Bolo Buddies, before we get started here, I do have something so exciting that I've been waiting for to share with you guys. And some of you may not be interested in this and you can go ahead and just skip ahead, but I have new merch. Eee, I'm so excited. So um, I've got the t-shirts, I've got the sweatshirts, I've got the mugs, I've got all of that stuff. And I really don't talk about my merch that much, but I wanted something that was more affordable. So wait until you guys see it i'm gonna unbox it now for you guys and the good news is one of the items is halloween themed and one of the items is thanksgiving themed so it kind of goes along with this video and these items are going to be sold exclusively on my whatnot in the buy it now marketplace section so if you're interested here's some more good news you can go down and use my referral link you're going to get 15 dollars to shop on whatnot and you can use that and apply it to your order if you want some Bolo Buddies merch, all right? So that link is down below. And also if you're not on Whatnot and you don't wanna use it for my merch, you can come and hang out at some of my live shows. I have a Halloween show that's coming up tomorrow from noon to 2 p.m. I'm doing a daytime show, guys, and I'm thinking if this goes well, I may start to incorporate some more daytime shows into my uh, whatnot life. <laughs> so maybe doing like specific categories like vintage ball caps or uh, stickers, things like that, just shorter shows during the day. So if that interests you, definitely follow me on whatnot on bolo buddies all one word lowercase over there but use that link down below to get 15 dollars to shop and you don't have to use that with me all right are you guys ready to see the new merch ah! oh and shout out to um i believe it's joey lee 85 i bought this nintendo shirt over there from his whatnot and i love it so uh give him a follow as well are you guys i'm so excited i'm so excited all right so lucky day shop has created these amazing earrings for me now i only have i have 10 of these but uh one of them i'm keeping so i only have nine in the blue the blue are harder to make so we decided to scratch the blue so if you want the blue get over there quick um, I don't know if this is going to be a hot seller or not, but um, I only have nine and I'm not getting any more of these. All right. So that is the first one. Hold on. I want to find uh, this is just my normal one. Uh, so they are super cute. They've got my owl logo and they say Bolo Buddies, but nothing special about these as far as themed. So wait until you see my Halloween. I'm so excited. I love them so much. I'm keeping one of each for myself. Here is the Halloween. Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. So these are available in my whatnot right now. However, if you come to a live show, when I'm live having a show, which I have the Boo Fest tomorrow from noon to two, and I'm selling Halloween jewelry, you guys will get discounted shipping on your items, your purchases. So if you buy it during the show, that will help you save on shipping, all right? But here is the little cute owl with the um, little pumpkin in the spider web. Isn't it cute? I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, and here's Thanksgiving. You guys, these are gonna be $5 and the buyer pays shipping. Five bucks, five bucks. And look, this is my little fall with the little turkey and the leaves falling. I just love it. She designed these for me and I just think they're fantastic. Um, I'm also working on Easter and Christmas. Um, I shouldn't say I am. She is. So I'm going to have those in the near future as well. But as a gift, she sent me these to give to all of you guys. So here's what we're going to do. Um, first off, I want you guys to go and follow Lucky Day Shop. And I'm popping up right now what her whatnot looks like. 
she has these earrings available in her store. I don't think all of them are up yet, but she's working on them. I'm getting this video out ahead of her. She does have, I think, six or seven options up right now that are different, but I'm gonna show you these and they will be available here soon. So if they're not available yet, watch for them. And if you use my $15 to shop coupon referral code down below, you can go and use that with her as well. So if you wanna get a pair of Bolo Buddies earrings and then also a pair of her earrings, you can do that. But I am gonna be giving these away during my live shows um, from now until Thanksgiving. So I haven't seen these yet. I'm so excited to see her new, um, her new, uh, what do you call them? Whatever this is, this print. <laughs> I'm so bad with words. Oh, okay, so we've got the little frog. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So each show that I have, each live show, I'm going to do a giveaway. This will be my first giveaway from her. It's these cute little ghosts. These will be on my show, The Boo Fest, tomorrow from noon to two, Eastern Standard Time. And I have 12 giveaways. This is one of them. So if you want the little ghosts, come on over and... I hope to see you at the show. I'm a little nervous because I'm starting the whole thing out and I don't normally do daytime shows. Here's another one. Are these not fantastic? I mean, look how vibrant and awesome the colors are. Who loves cows? I know one person that loves cows. She buys from me on whatnot. And we've got some awesome spider webs. Oh my goodness, these are incredible. These would be great for fall or Thanksgiving. <gasps> And I love the owl eyes. Oh my goodness. I want to keep them all. I want to keep them all, but I'm going to give them to you guys. And here is another one that is just adorable. Look at the owl. Oh my goodness. And she did send me, I told her I love the owl eyes. So she sent me an extra pair to keep for myself. But I did tell her that if she sent me anything extra, I was going to give it away. So you guys watch for these and my upcoming whatnot shows. They will be um, one of my giveaways each show. So um, I hope to got, see you guys at Whatnot. And, uh... All right, you guys, so here they are. We've got Halloween, and I have 24 of those. The regular, I have 34. I have 10 of these. She actually sent me 11. She sent me a bonus one for myself. And I have 24 of the Thanksgiving. So these are available now on my Whatnot Marketplace. If you like them, grab a pair for $5 plus shipping. Let me know if you have any questions and let's get started on this video. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Here they are. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. These are the Halloween available now on my whatnot. $5 plus shipping. Um, let me show you guys something real quick. And then we're going to get into these big money Halloween bolos. So... Here is my whatnot. And again, tomorrow noon to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am going to be doing the Whatnot Boo Fest. If you go to the app and you click on this and you click on the house, you can see all of the giveaways. You can see my earrings in the Buy It Now. You can see um, all of the items I'm bringing to auction. And if you guys would come, I would appreciate it so much. Even if you don't buy anything, the support would mean a ton to me because I don't normally do daytime shows and I'm really hoping for a good turnout. So um, I don't want to say I'm begging, but please, pretty please come. All right. Um, and you guys can bookmark my other shows as well. And then here is Lucky Day Shop. This is who made the earrings. And these are the ones she has up right now. The ones I showed you are not live yet, but they will be soon. So make sure you're following her and check back so that you can see um, the new earrings that she has. But right now you can get all of these. Uh, so you got spiders, ghosts, um, a tree line that is kind of spooky, the Halloween jack-o'-lantern, the cows, and the Woodlands uh, River teardrop. So check those out. That's available right now and she will be listing more soon, but definitely bookmark her shows by clicking on the little bookmark and she has amazing jewelry and she is an amazing person. And I'm so excited that she did this for me. So let's get started with these big money Halloween bolos. So the first one, 
All of these items sold for over a thousand dollars. Vintage Halloween is one of those things that if you can find it, you are in the money. Now it might not be a thousand dollars. The ones in this video are big, big, huge money. But even the vintage Halloween items that are easier to find are great bread and butter. And some of the easier to find items can be big money also. So in this video, we are going to feature the big money ones. Are we going to find them? I don't know. Maybe not. But it sure is interesting to see what these items are selling for. And if you didn't know, you will know to pick these items up. This one right here is a vintage Halloween 1920s German extra large heavily embossed die cut lantern. It is a lantern. Now, one thing that you're going to notice here is the condition. I mean, this has probably come from a collector and been taken very, very good care of. I mean, it's been it's been treasured. You can tell it's in fantastic condition. This is from the 1920s. It sold for $1,126. So what I want to know is what did they start the auction at? They started the auction at $9.99. Oh my goodness, so brave. Um, 11 unique bidders, 21 bids, and the winning bidder had 2,660 feedback. Now, I will tell you, I try to go in and verify every listing that I'm going to show you by looking to see if the item has feedback or if the item was relisted. Most of these not most, I, um, I can't remember how many, but a lot of these had actual feedback left. Um, the Scream Mask. Now this one is, it's a little tricky guys, but I'm gonna tell you if you find a Scream Mask, please, please, please do your research. Some of them go for bread and butter, but some of them go for thousands of dollars. And it is a little bit difficult to know if it is a Gen 1 or not. Uh, there are YouTube videos that can help you with this. There are also different things that you can Google. Uh, I think that there's like, uh, let's see, maybe the shape of the eyes right here. See, they've got a picture of how what the eye measures. Different things that um, are important with screen masks to identify if they are Gen 1. I think that I undersold a screen mask early on because I didn't know. And... It happens. It happens to all of us. So do your research. And if you're not sure, start the item on auction. And let me tell you, these people looking for these scream masks, they're going to let you know. They're going to bid the item up. Okay. This sold for $1,155 plus shipping. They started this auction at $246. So they knew it was worth money. They started it high and it went for $1,155. This is a vintage Rossbro Halloween pirate clown with drum on wheels from the 1950s. 37 bids, $1,156. I believe this is um, plastic, right? Is it a hard plastic it looks like? And they have three photos. So I always recommend including as many photos as you possibly can, especially if you have an item that's worth over $1,000. <laughs> oh my goodness, $1,156. The next item is just as cute as can be. It's a vintage Coco Mold, Coco Mold, K-O-K-O -K -O Mold by Rosbro again. And it's a plastic Halloween spring head cat with wheels. Look how rad this is. And if Amy was here, she'd say totally rad or super rad. That's what we do over on Whatnot. That's my new word, my new word of the year, we're going to call it, maybe longer. But I like to say things are rad. So come over to Whatnot, you guys. We have a good time. Even if you don't buy, just come hang out. $1,175 plus shipping. So the other night on Whatnot, I was selling vintage this and that items. And oh my goodness, I was on a roll. Um, we were having a good time. I was just cracking up. And sometimes it's like that, you know, you just hang out. Even if you're not buying, it's just fun to be at a live show. This one right here is an all original vintage Halloween paper mache pulp jack-o'-lantern decoration from the 1940s. $1,175. I love that the seller did this. They highlighted that the paper on the inside is still there and it's not split. It looks 
fantastic. So I, again, really feel like pictures of the condition are really important. I would use as many as eBay allows you to use on something like this. So here's the paper on the inside. Isn't that interesting? Vintage Antique Halloween 1940s USA Paper Pulp Standing Jack-O-Lantern Man. $1,126 on that one. And that one, the buyer paid shipping as well. So just to give you guys an idea of what these look like, these are in really, really good condition. And that's probably helped these items go for what they went for. Here is a, look, it's in his hand. I mean, it's not very big. Halloween rare old German accordion paper mache original paper insert. So what they mean by original paper insert was that paper that I was telling you about right here. I'm sure that a lot of times these get replaced. So they're letting you know that the insert is original. Look at that cat. That is amazing. Do you love it? 1100 and I'm sorry, $1,225 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a 1930s Halloween jack-o'-lantern electrified pottery lighted marked jack-o'-lantern. So this one, let me see if I can do this. Here we go. This is much better. Here are all the pictures. I want to see it lit up. Um, what I will say right here, you can see that this has been repaired be very careful if you get something like this when you plug it in because it can cause a fire. It can cause a spark. One day I plugged something in and it sparked. And uh, thankfully, it just turned off my circuit um, and my circuit breaker, but it shut everything down. So I would be careful um, selling things that are damaged like this for that reason definitely disclose it and maybe mention it needs repaired. I don't know. To me, I, I'd i probably take the light out if it's damaged. It sure looks damaged to me, right? Like I wouldn't plug that in if it were me. I don't know. I'm not an electrician. So uh, I just had a bad experience. So I lean on the safe side for something like that. Uh, near Mint plus Antique Vintage Halloween Jack-O-Lantern Decoration Germany 1920. Sold for 1000 $325 early, nearly pristine, and frightfully fabulous is what it says. And there is what it looks like. Do you guys love it? I mean, if you guys are just here to see the cool vintage Halloween items, I get it. They're so cool. Here is another scream mask. Now, this one is also a Gen 1. This one is green. So they do make different colors. And sometimes the ones that are... um. I don't know why. Oh, that's maybe so somebody can't use their photo. I'm not sure. Sometimes the colored ones can do really well, but you can see this one is Fun World Division. I have done better with the ones that say Fun World Division than I have the ones that say Easter Unlimited, but Easter Unlimited can still be a bolo for sure. 1300 on this one. This one is an antique vintage Halloween composition candy container decoration, jack-o'-lantern, from Germany, 140277. So another bolo for sure. This is a candy container. You can see the head comes off and it's this one's not perfect. It's got some condition issues. It and maybe just maybe it's been repaired. I'm not really sure if there was paint put on there or not. There is a little bit of paint loss, but look how cute it is. This is a antique vintage Halloween early USA jack-o'-lantern tin parade lantern with York style, I'm sorry, Yolk style handle, $1,500.09 buyer paid shipping. And that's what it looks like. So rough condition still sold for $1,500. So I would say if it's vintage Halloween, even in poor condition, if it, if you can get it for the right price, I would pick it up. Antique Vintage Halloween 1920s German Black Cat Die Cut Playing a Banjo. This is a die cut. $1,507 and the buyer paid shipping. It's fantastic. And you can see right there they circled where it says Germany. Great photos. Here is a vintage Rosbro Halloween Witch Rocket Ship Black White Orange Jack-O-Lantern Pool Toy. Pull Toy. <laughs> $1,000. $677 plus 
shipping. Is that incredible? Wait until you see the ones at the end of the video. I mean, we're just getting good here. Dawn Post, anything Dawn Post, definitely be on the lookout for. 1979. This one is a latex mask monster, but it has hands with it. $1,700. Look at that. That is, that's freaky. That is freaky. Would you wear that? Oh, wow. It's got the original certificate also. I bet that helped. Uh, vintage Ross Bro Hard Plastic Halloween Witch on a Motorcycle Candy Container, $1,823.89. And you can see, and really, you know, the pictures I'm going to say are very, I'm very distracted by the background. I think a plain background is definitely beneficial. But when you have an item like this, it really doesn't matter what your background looks like because somebody wants it. Do I recommend a background like that? No, I recommend a plain background. That is my opinion. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments. Rare find 1920s vintage Halloween Gibson store window advertising display. $1,913 plus shipping. And I love how they have it all lit up. That is awesome. And look at the condition. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. It's amazing. I mean, it's got a little bit of issues, but it's from the 1920s. Now, how do you know it's from the 1920s? That is a fantastic question. If anybody knows down in the comments, please let me know. This is an antique vintage Halloween 1923 Beastle Halloween fairy clock die cut near mint. $1,914.99 plus shipping. It's a die cut. It is fabulous. Almost $2,000. Actually, $2,000 pretty much with shipping, almost. Vintage celluloid viscoloid, which in corn cob racer, vintage Halloween set of two. Now, let me know in the comments. Would you have had one as your original picture or two? I think I would have put two. $2,220 on this and the buyer paid shipping. And again, you guys, these are just opinions. I'm not saying the seller did something wrong. I'm just saying like, if I was scrolling through eBay, I would see two and be like, oh, I'm getting two for that price. And if I saw this, I would think I was getting one. That's the only reason I say it. I'm not saying my way or my opinion is correct. Here is another scream mask. This one is on the card and it sold for $2,600. And it is glow in the dark, glow in the dark, fun world division. It was originally $5.97. How many of you out there are like, man, I wish I would have stocked up on these and held on to them. $2,600 plus shipping. The next item is this rare antique vintage Halloween viscoloid celluloid two-sided rattle. Um, it says... Decoration from the 20s, $2,749.99. Oh my goodness. Smiley face, frowny face. <laughs> that is kind of cute and excellent condition again. This one is a rare vintage Halloween Beastle Lantern, identical dual sided jack o' lantern. And also, if you guys are wondering, these earrings are the same on both sides. Just FYI, I thought about that just now. Uh, a best offer was taken on this one. And actually, one of my friends, Leah's Bits and Pieces, a long time ago when I first started YouTube, she found two or three of these. And I featured her store, but it was this one. I'm almost certain it was this one. And she is still on eBay. Check her out, Leah's Bits and Pieces. She is a bolo finder. And she found this in the wild and she is just a normal person like you and me. She is not a Halloween collector. So you may be looking at these items thinking, I'm never going to find this. I can't find this. Why are you showing me this? Because my friend, she found three of these and some other Halloween stuff that sold for crazy money. I can't remember if it was an estate sale or a garage sale. That video, you can find it in my past videos but definitely a big money bolo. Now this one, a best offer was taken. And so I went into Terapeak. I cut and paste the title. So I go to research, Terapeak product research, put the title in, 
go down here and you can see the best offer that was taken on this was $2,400. Here is a rare vintage early Beastel Halloween mechanical die cut. Little Miss Pumpkin, $3,000 on this one. Check it out. Would you be terrified to ship this? I mean, okay, it's not as terrifying as glass, but a $3,000 item. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. I would definitely smash it between two pieces. Well, first I would put it in tissue. This is what I would do. I don't know if this is right. Let me know if you have any shipping tips. I would kind of push the arms in and make it as small as I could without damaging it. I would wrap it in tissue paper. I would put two pieces of a box, like a cardboard box. I would cut it to fit on both sides. And then I would probably bubble wrap that. And then I would probably put that in a box. <laughs> Some way, somehow, I would make sure that this item was not going to bend in any way. Maybe even like double and triple that cardboard. If it's $3,000, it's getting some major attention from me. All right. So let me know your shipping tips down in the comments. Vintage German witch candy container Halloween, $3,250 on this one. It's a candy container. These are awesome. I want to find some vintage Halloween candy containers. Oh my goodness. Wow. Vintage antique Halloween 1920s German candy container. Now, this one looks pretty simple, right? $3,339.99. And the buyer paid shipping. Just an old candy container. It's just incredible. It's incredible. This is a, uh, I'm sorry, rare early antique Halloween German bisque wish, witch doll. This one went for $1,300. I'm sorry, $1,133.88 plus shipping. And at the end here, it looks like they're showing you some of the items that are available in their eBay store. So this is a marketing tool. I have always said that I think it's a little bit confusing and quite possibly the person bidding on this listing could think they're getting everything. So be careful doing this. It probably says down here that... Um, I have additional items listed over the next week or so. So I don't know. I, a lot of people do it. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's uh, confusing or do you think it's okay? Here is another one. This is an antique German Halloween scary black cat Dresden paper Christmas ornament. Christmas ornament? Huh. $1,225 for this one right here. And again, they're showing some of the other items they're going to be selling. I think it's smart because other people may go into their store, but I think it could, if somebody wanted to be like trouble, they could probably open up an item not as described. Antique German Halloween Veggie Man Jack-O-Lantern sitting on a log candy container, $1,266.66. And there he is sitting on a log. Is there only two pictures? Two pictures, two pictures. This is an antique German Halloween jack-o'-lantern pumpkin face candy caner container, $1,524.99. Another candy container. Check that out. More items listed. The next item is this rare antique German Halloween aviator. Um, is that a chauffeur? Jack-o'-lantern pumpkin lantern, $1,603. And this is, a lot of these are the same sellers. It looks like they just somehow, either they were a collector and decided to sell their collection or they bought a collection to resell. I'm not really sure. Antique vintage German Halloween log jack-o'-lantern pumpkin lantern, $1,825. So candy containers, old lanterns, I mean, anything that's vintage Halloween. It's just incredible. This is a rare vintage Halloween Rossbro cocoa mold Witch Riding Rocket on Wheels, $1,887, and the buyer paid shipping. There you have it. Quite the collection. Here is an antique vintage Halloween paper pulp goblin jack-o'-lantern, $2,247.22. Look how cute he is. I'm sorry, but that is cuteness more items for sale. The next item is this antique vintage Halloween Toledo, Ohio parade Jack O'Lantern. 
$3,560. Get out of town. Wow. Here is a rare antique German Halloween stump. Candle lantern. There is one photo. Wonder why there's only one photo. Uh, it's still with one photo went for $5,466.66. Here is another one. This one went for $5,566.66. It is also a Halloween stump candle lantern, but different than the other one. Wow. Just wow. 32 pieces, vintage Halloween decorations, posters, embossed pieces. $3,716 plus shipping. Would you have sold these items individually? or in a lot. I'm not sure what I would have done because yes, they got a ton of money, but you have seen what some of these other items have gone for and they were single items. So let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have listed it as a lot or individually? It does look like some of these have condition issues. So maybe that's why they felt like um, a bundle was better for them. Wow. Wow. And, oh, I lied. Look, it says 3,716, but this is where you have to be careful. When I went in to research to see if the item had been relisted, I found that it wasn't. I went to their solds and I saw that the item had been relisted and it originally sold on August 14th for this 3,700. Somebody probably asked to cancel they relisted the item at a buy it now and it sold for $1,800 plus shipping. So $1,800 is still fantastic. This one here is an antique vintage Halloween 1905 to 1910 USA jack-o'-lantern tin parade lantern, $4,403 plus shipping. Great photos. I mean, you're getting all the detail, all the detail in the photos. And right here, you can see, this is how I check for feedback. If you go down, let me just show you, to the seller's thing and you click see all feedback, it will typically, if there is feedback left for that listing, it will pop it up right here. So you can see right here, the feedback is left. You can also put an item number in here or copy the title and that will pull up if there is feedback also. Now, if I cannot find feedback, I go in and I click view items for sale and I will see if they have the item listed. So I'm in here and you can actually see they have 12 active listings. All of them have six days left. So I imagine these are going to be some big money bolos as well. This seller seems to know their Halloween, um, but yeah, six days on these items. So yeah, pretty cool, right? All right, Lucky Day Shop and Bolo Buddies on Whatnot. And I just want to say thank you to Lucky Day Shop so, for making the time to make these amazing earrings for me. Um, I did purchase these from her, but she did throw in some of the freebies that I get to gift to you guys, um, all of the different Halloween ones. So come over to my Whatnot. That link is down below. You're going to get $15 to shop, and I'm going to be giving away the nine pair of Halloween earrings that she sent me. They are fantastic. I want to keep them all, but I'm going to give them to you guys. So follow me on whatnot. I'm guaranteed. Okay, maybe not guaranteed. Guaranteed a good time. All right, maybe not. But I, I think everybody has a good time at my whatnot shows. I try to be like fun and entertaining and, you know, I just do my best. So I hope to see you guys there. That link is down below. Come to the Boo Fest tomorrow, noon to two, Friday the 25th, 12 o'clock to two o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will put that link down below also. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, here's a quick tutorial on how to turn on all notifications. I'm gonna use my friend Catfield and Thrifty as an example. You're gonna go up to the bell and you're gonna click on that bell. You're gonna change it from get personalized notifications to all notifications. Definitely do this because I'm gonna be having some pop-up shows. I am Bolo Buddies on Whatnot, and I am gonna be a part of Whatnot's Boo Fest on the 25th from noon to two. See you then. Thanks for watching.
see you guys soon. And thanks for watching.